Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel. Today I'm doing paid reviews, paid reviews, and this one here is for Kevin. Kevin and uh, Kevin goes, Hi Archie, I love your videos. Uh, you always deliver with good laugh and honest truth. I am wanting to add one or two possible new watches in the next few months and wanted your advice. My collection is below. Please keep in mind I wear shorts to work most days, dark jeans and a sports coat on occasion for the weekend is about as dressed up as I get. My small collection is number one, Rolex GMT Batman. No, 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 Batman. He's also got a Breitling Black Super Ocean 44 mil special. He's got a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage Black dial. Yes, sirree. He's also got an Amiga Seamaster Diver 300 meter ETNZ. And he's got a Rolex 36 mil steel gold with champagne jib. It's a date just. I felt so bad, so I bought the wife one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, now, he goes on. I uh, learned a lot the hard way. I have four Tissos and one tag quartz. I started giving these away to friends. Good idea. They are all shitters. Oh... Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. Look, look, I don't think the Tissot's, Tissot's an entry-level watch. And the tag, it's a quartz. There's, yeah, I, I wouldn't buy it myself. But for an entry-level, that, that, that's okay. But I, but I don't always make the big bucks and thought these were cool at the time. My first automatic I bought was the biggest turd of them all. A Mido, a Mido. It broke twice and I keep it to remind me of why you don't buy cheap automatic watches. Plus, who would want this piece of sh Well, <laughs> I agree. The Mido, the Mido. You know, I used to work at a jewelry store that, that sold Midos. Um, I don't think that... Um, <coughs> I mean, if you've got it already, I, I, I wouldn't... It's, it's kind of... Yeah, I know it's mid-tier, but... If you've got it already, it's still a Swiss watch with an ETA. It's... Yeah, I know. I wouldn't fucking recommend you to buy one, but if you've already got it, it's it, 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 it's semi borderline, borderline. Uh, advice: I am looking to add a caliber eleven tag Hoyer or a used Monaco twenty four caliber thirty six. The twenty four caliber thirty six is a watch you never see. I would have to buy used, and I'm not sure. If the brand will hold up well with outdoor use in the hot Texas sun. I also love the PAM438. Give me a good reason not to pull the trigger on this watch. Arch, further dream watches will be the gold sub or possibly a matching set of Everose rubber band yacht meisters. Um, I like muscle cars too, Arch. So the watch collection is a work in progress. Thanks, Kevin from Texas. PayPal on its way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> okay, let's have a bit of a talk about this. This is a interesting sort of thing there. Uh, i got to be completely honest with you there. The Calibre 11, I completely support. Quick, 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 quick. Wristwatch, check. What am I wearing myself there? I am wearing, of course, I'm wearing the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. I love that watch. I really, really love that watch. Volcano Black Fuckers 42 mil. Uh, I gotta say to you, don't buy any more Breitlings. I think you got enough. You got enough. Just stop now. Stop. It's okay to have one or two, but no more. No more. Their, their de depreciation can be nasty. Um, Calibre 11. I love it. I love it. That's the you know, I know it's got a Salita movement in it, yes, but you don't buy it for the movement. You buy it for the sexy good looks. And uh, sexy good looks are very, very, um, they are cool. Um, the Monaco 24 Caliber 36, very interesting watch. Very, very interesting watch. They actually use a Zenith movement because 
This is owned by LVMH, Louis Vuitton, Moe, Hennessy. They own Zenith and they also own Tag Heuer. So it's, <coughs> and they own Louis Vuitton. So it's kind of a, a big conglomerate. Um, what do I think of the 24 caliber 36? Look, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's they're quite expensive. You know, you look on Chrono 24. Fuck! They're over ten thousand dollars. You know, Jesus Christ. Um, uses the Zenith movement, which is a cool thing. I don't think they're individual enough. I think if you're gonna buy my own view is if you're gonna buy a Monaco, get the Caliber eleven. Okay, the Caliber eleven <coughs> is the one. It's the Steve McQueen. That's so cool about it, is it's the the blue. It's the 1970s. Just the way the whole Calibre 11 is done is cool. The um, the Monaco 24 Calibre 36. Yeah, okay, I get it. it. Yeah, I know it's a Zenith and it's it's got some good DNA. Yes, yes, yes. But I think the Monaco is supposed to be a retro watch. That's why you buy it. You don't buy it in that flavour. That's just that's that's my opinion. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you might disagree, but I, I would seriously, I think, get the Calibre 11. I mean, your collection there, you've got a Batman GMT. You've got a you've got two Breitling Super Oceans. You've got a Heritage and a 44. You've got an Amiga Seamaster. You've got a two-tone. Okay, that's the Mrs. Watch. Fair enough. But I think, get stick with some iconic classics. I would personally be saying Calibre 11. That's where I would be going. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of my, my honest opinion there. I, I, I don't think the Calibre 24, ca sorry, the Monaco 24 Calibre 36 is a bad watch. But, I think the whole point of, 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 of the, the Calibre, the Monaco is the Calibre 11. That is it, really. I mean, Calibre 12, if you don't like the crown on the, the left-hand side, but even then, I kind of, um, I got to be honest with you there. I kind of say to myself, fuck it. It's um, the whole point is that Steve McQueen legacy. That's what it is. <coughs> um, so that's, that's my kind of, um, that's my kind of take on it there. Um, the next thing you mentioned was a PAM 438. I got a, that's the Panerai Toot Onurano. Toot Onurano. Fucking Italian names they give these things here. Uh, it's basically a Lumina 1950 three day GMT. Um, I don't know if it's really the one I would be going for there. I mean, I, I, I get it. I get it. You like, okay, I get it. I get it. Um, um, I kind of, you know, I think with, 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 with PAMs, you want to stick to the icons. Most people, when they get it, get a PAM, they go for a PAM 111. That's kind of the iconic manual wind with the, with the sub-second at, at nine. Or they go for a 112, which is manual wind with no sub-second, just minute and hour. Or they go for a base zero, that's with the, the logo. If that's like a 112 with the logo. I mean, I, I get it. I've gone for a submersible. Submersible's kind of the, uh, a, it's kind of a dive, super, a super dive. It's a 300 meter dive sort of thing there. Um, I, I would seriously say I'd be going for the icons. That's what I would seriously do. I think the icons is the way to go there. I think the PAMs, I mean, I mean, what is the, the, um, the Pam, um, they come along, I think they come on, a, they kind of have that, they're a ceramic <clears throat> watch. I'm not a huge fan of ceramic. Uh, even the bracelet is ceramic. See, I like the Pams on the rubber or the leather. That's the whole point. You get Pams. Um, I I would kind of myself, I'd, I'd rather, I think they're a lot of money. They're not cheap. They are not cheap. A Pam... 438 is not fucking cheap. Um, it's, <coughs> I don't hate it. It's I, I, I would get a more classic, iconic um, 
pan. That's just my view. I mean, I mean, I know I've gone a little bit astray there with the submersible, but the submersible is kind of, it's a respected... It, it just doesn't... Look, some people like the 438. That does, doesn't cut it for me. That's just my opinion. I'd be getting classic, iconic. Uh, future Dreams will be a gold sub. Uh, or possibly a matching set of... I think forget forget rubber. Go for the gold sub. You want the bracelet. That's what what uh the go is there i think myself um i i really think i really think gold sub you, you buy it for the bracelet that's that's the whole fucking thing you want the bracelet because that's what um that, that that's kind of what you want you want you want this bracelet um I I would say uh I I would seriously say buying it on rubber you could just just goes against the grain. I I, I just I don't approve of it. <coughs> Your watch is there. I'm glad to see you've gone really well there, but I I wouldn't be so hard on the Mido. I think yeah, I wouldn't buy one, of course not. Fuck no, I wouldn't fucking buy one of those again, but is they, they have got a bit of a hist. I mean, uh, fuck, fuck. It's these in between watches, you know. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but I wouldn't be so. I wouldn't be throwing it away. Uh the the Mido itself. There, I know they're fucking. They're not a luxury watch. I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. But it's it's it's. I, I'd keep it as a beater. Okay, that's my honest opinion there. Um, but as for, yeah, okay, so look, so look, I reckon for the Monaco's, I'd definitely go in Calibre 11, Calibre 11, because it's the icon, get the classic blue dial one like I've got. Uh, the Pam, I'd probably go, I'd go, I'd go for a, just a, a classic model on rubber or leather, you know, that's the part of the fun of Pam's is fucking around with the straps, and that, down the track, I mean, this is pie in the sky stuff, um... Maybe a gold sub. But, I mean, that's pie in the sky. Let's be honest there. None of us can fucking afford to keep that. And uh, they're expensive. So there you go. That's the advice from the pontiff. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Fuckers, like, subscribe. Tell your fuckhead friends and put a few nasty comments down below.